Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video we're going to quickly discuss how you get animation or movement like this. So some of the concepts we'll cover include using the onion skin button to turn um, your previous and um, your you know upcoming drawings on and off so you could see what's going to happen. We're going to talk about layers, we're going to talk about color cards, and um, at the end uh, we just export this and then we have a finished animation. So I'm going to go and use the brush tool. I'm going to hold down the O key and I'm going to drag just to get some kind of a dot or some kind of a large size dot. And this is what I'm going to use to draw. I want to keep everything abstract because I just want to make something quickly and successfully animate. All right. So first things first, let me draw something right here. I'm just going to do a dot. I'm going to go two frames forward. And then let me put another dot. Might be nice to see the previous drawing. So I want to turn on this button, which is called the onion skin. So you can see my previous dot is displayed in red. My current drawing is displayed in black. I'm going to go one, two spaces forward. And I'm going to make another dot, two spaces forward, another dot, and so on and so forth. By the way, to go forward in time, you could just hit the period key on your keyboard. So I'm going to do that a bunch of times. I'm going to hit period, 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 period. To go back in time, you can hit the comma key. And then it's a really handy tool to be able to go and animate and move things around. So I'm holding the stylus, but I have my other hand on the keyboard. So as I press period with my right hand, I'm drawing with my left hand. So I can very, very quickly draw the next frame and I don't have to go all the way down here to click, down here to click. And like what I'm trying to do is try to put a bunch of drawings on the picture or in this, uh, in this camera view so that way I can hit the play button later and then I can get some movement. Okay, I'm going to end this animation. So we're going to have this go outside of the box just a moment so there we go now what I could do is I could drag this red cursor which is called the playhead so I could drag this in the timeline as I move to the right it goes forward in time as I go to the left it goes back in time I could hit this play button and then it will only show the animation it doesn't show the onion skin I could hit the loop button and then play it I can go and change the amount of time that I have inside this video. So if I want, I could grab this red handle and move it over here to 40. And then it, um, it will shorten my animation. I can also go back out here and I can extend the animation and then hit the play button. Notice that I don't have any drawings over here at the end of the animation. So when the playhead is here, you're not going to see anything. I want to go right over here to the add drawing layer. So I'm down here. Let's hit that button to add a drawing. I'm going to click add and close. And then over here in time, I want to go and get something that's blue. And then I'm just going to draw a line. Okay, go forward in time by hitting the period button. Period a couple times and then go draw period. And what I want to do is just to continue animating forward. Now, if I want to, every time I press the period button, I can just do a drawing. But with animation, you don't really need to do so many drawings. You could do 12 drawings for one second, and then that's it. Okay. So notice what just happened. Um, if I go and play this, it's going to loop. You can see that I have some kind of an animation or some kind of a blue object that goes into frame. All right, so I can go and mask off the other area by hitting this button right here, which is a camera mask. And then you can see what it's gonna look like as you finish the animation and you export it. Okay, let's go do a few more things. So I wanna add one more layer and uh, I don't need to name it. Let me just add and close. And then I'm gonna start here at the beginning. Let me, I'm gonna double click this white 
and let's choose a different color. Okay, let's close it. And then what I want to do is to, um, I guess, make a drawing, something right there. Go forward a couple of frames, go forward a couple of frames, go forward a couple of frames. And I want this to look like it's just staying in place. So in the animation, they would call this a hold. Um, just because I'm keeping it right there. You can copy and paste it if you want to, but you don't really need to. So again, just get used to going back and forth with the arrow, uh, or not the arrow, pardon me, with the comma and the, the period keys, okay? So as these two interact, so this blue dot on one layer, so if I turn on and off the layer, you can see this blue dot is gonna go into the area of this pink dot. So my next drawing is gonna show them splitting up. Okay, let's go forward. This is just gonna be some kind of an illusion that the blue dot is gonna split the animation. Or, pardon me, it's gonna split the actual uh, drawing into two pieces. Um, so, just gonna go and draw the rest of this stuff. And I'm gonna go forward in time to be able to go and finish this animation. And notice how I'm, I'm drawing only one of the parts. So as I go backwards in time, I can go and I can go back and finish the other part. Okay. So let me just kind of let me just roll out just a bit. Let's just move this over here. We'll scrub through the animation so you can see what happens. Um, the pink blob splits, and at some point I don't I don't finish the drawing that's over here at the bottom. So what I should do is go back, and I'm going to go back and let me just adjust this one. Okay, so hit the period key to go to the next frame, then the next frame, and then the next frame. Eventually I'm going to animate this out of the frame, and we're good. Okay, if I hit that play button, we should be able to see all of the action. All right, so default um, with Harmony, the background is gonna be black. So what you wanna do is to add a color card. All right, so let me just go and hit this plus sign. So I'm down here, uh, hit the plus sign, add a color card, take this color card, drag it to the bottom. Because you want all of your artwork to be above, you want the color card to be at the bottom. If you click, click, that color card right over here where there's that little sun then what will happen is is you're gonna get an, a menu that pops up <laughs> let's click over here and then that's where you will uh, you get the uh, background color to be what you want notice you could see what's happening over here in your frame so if you have a black background with a black dot you're not gonna see the movement but if you put a color card with a different color you will see it okay I'm gonna click OK or click that box. I'm going to close this. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. So I could go and save this animation out. And you can kind of see this is what it's going to look like as it's done. All right, guys. So I hope that was a helpful video. Definitely use the concepts we covered to animate with separate layers. Uh, make sure you go edit your colors. Don't worry about making everything perfect in the beginning. As you learn how to animate, you just want to focus on basic shapes, and then you'll get fancy later. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.